Welcome to the training video for Statex First Responder 500, a handheld fire suppression device for utilities. Today, we will guide you through use of the Statex First Responder for suppressing manhole, cable space, or vault fires. You will learn about Statex Agent, what it is made of, how it works, when to use Statex First Responder, how to deploy it safely, and what to do after a Statex First Responder has been used. Please also take time to read and review the information about the product found online at the statx.com website. This includes the MSDS, owner's manual, and operating instructions. Plus, we recommend you review your company policies, procedures, or work practices regarding confined spaces and fire emergency response as well. Let's get started. Every day, utilities face aging infrastructure and with it a growing number of emergency events that sometime result in manhole fires. Events like cable failures from overloading, burning insulation from electrical flashover, oil spills, transformer faults, even leaves and other organic materials can all contribute to fires. Sometimes manhole fires result in an impressive explosion that can send a manhole lid 50 feet or more into the air. Called a champagne effect, the open manhole allows air drafts to enter, providing additional oxygen for the flames. More fire damage can occur, causing customer outages and hazards to anyone that might be in the area, or even worse, inside the manhole. Until now, response has been limited to fighting the fire with water or by entering the space and discharging portable fire extinguishers. But excessive water and caustic fire extinguishing agent can further damage what's inside the manhole. Also, since some extinguishing agents work by depleting available oxygen, they can pose a danger to anyone in the confined space. The Statex First Responder is not a portable fire extinguisher. Rather, it's a new, innovative handheld fire suppressant designed to be tossed into a space involved with fire. It is designed to suppress fire and to serve as a personal protection aid for workers in an emergency egress or entrance situation. At first sight, similar to a smoke grenade, Statax First Responder is fundamentally different. It delivers a highly effective aerosol fire suppression agent known as Statax. Inside the unit is a solid charge of aerosol generating compound. The compound is made of a patented blend of potassium nitrate and other reagent-grade additives. Once activated, it generates micron-sized firefighting particles suspended in a low-pressure gas mixture. The Statex First Responder 500 device is designed with a ring pin and safety lever for secure and rapid deployment. Stable and unpressurized, units are meant to stand by until actuated by a trained user or emergency responder. Then, aerosol fire suppression agent is generated and discharged, knocking down and suppressing fire in a manhole or vault as shown here. Discharge is moderate and paced, maximizing agent particle suspension. Take a look at this illustration. We should all be familiar with the fire triangle. It shows the three basic elements of a fire, oxygen, heat, and fuel. If we remove any one or more of these elements, the fire cannot sustain itself and eventually it goes out. In a manhole or vault, this generally doesn't happen until fuel or oxygen is consumed. What the fire triangle doesn't show is a fourth important element. The chemical reaction that sustains the fire. This chemical reaction is just as important as the oxygen, heat, and fuel. Statax agent works by interrupting the chemical reaction of fire. It does this by intercepting the free radicals created during combustion, thereby stopping the pathway necessary to complete the fire chemical reaction. In a fire, the first responder can be deployed in two different scenarios. First is the suppression scenario, where a utility or emergency crew responds to a manhole, cable space, or vault fire. Second is the personal protection scenario, where attendants above the manhole deploy it to aid in emergency egress or entrance. This second scenario should be an integral part of your emergency response plans. That is, use the first responder to suppress the flames, knock down the fire's heat, and buy time for a safer exit or rescue whenever workers are trapped in a manhole, cable space, or vault. 
The personal protection deployment scenario should also be a part of any workplace safety program for confined spaces. Just one first responder suppresses a fire in a confined space of up to 800 cubic feet. Multiple units should be used for larger volumes. Now, let's cover the few basic steps needed to operate the StatX first responder. 1. Grasp the unit in one hand, securely capturing the safety lever with your palm or fingers and target the deployment landing area. 2. Twist the ring pin clockwise to release the safety clip. 3. Pull the ring firmly to remove the safety pin. Rapid deployment is critical in most cases, but keeping the safety lever down will hold off actuation and give extra time to properly target your landing area. 4. Toss the unit into the manhole, as near the fire as possible. Take care to avoid throwing it onto a cable rack, a transformer, other equipment, or occupants. 5. After 3.5 seconds, the unit activates and agent exits as a stream from holes around its base. Caution: Discharge is very hot up to distance of 30 centimeters, 1 foot. 6. Agent will begin filling the space. Discharge time is normally 20 seconds. And 7. The fire should be sufficiently suppressed or extinguished. Continue to monitor the space and apply additional units as necessary. Another question that utilities might ask is, will StatX work underwater? What happens if the unit falls into a sump hole or there is water in the manhole, cable space, or vault? The answer is yes, it will work. Shown here, the first responder is fully submerged. It also works in a wide temperature range and other harsh conditions. Important note, if the space is occupied or a worker is incapacitated, avoid tossing the unit near or onto the occupant. Agent discharge is hot and can cause burns. Depleted units can be disposed of by simply discarding them into a metal scrap bin. But first, check with your company's environmental department for specific local or state regulations governing disposal. Caution: Do not pick up a spent unit right after discharge as it can be quite hot to the touch and could potentially cause burns. Wait several minutes to allow the depleted unit to cool. Housing temperature is over 100 degrees Celsius (212 degrees Fahrenheit) right after discharge, so be careful. Normally, you can pick up a depleted unit after 15 to 20 minutes and it's safe to enter the burn area. To sum up, we have shown you the StatX First Responder 500 handheld fire suppression device. How it works how to use it, and how to dispose of it. But another question that often comes up is, will StatX agent deplete the oxygen in the manhole, and what happens if I breathe it? Answer: Oxygen is not depleted by StatX agent, and the aerosol is not considered toxic in levels used to suppress most fires, though it may cause temporary mild irritation of mucous membrane if inhaled. See the MSDS for more safety hygiene data and remember, the first responder stops fire by interfering with the fire's chemistry, not by removing oxygen or smothering fire. We decided to put the first responder to the test using a controlled fire in a test manhole. The purpose was to imitate a real-life personal protection scenario where fire is present and workers are in the manhole while the StatX is deployed. The test was conducted independently of the manufacturer and jointly by two East Coast utilities at a utility training center. The two veteran underground instructors have over 55 years of combined experience working in underground environments and are well versed in all aspects of the hazards encountered in these environments. Rescue equipment was available for safety and standard personal protective equipment was in place. Fire is started and allowed to burn. The emergency egress plan is put into play with StatX deployment. The instructors shut open doors behind them, pass through the space, and exit. Watch what happens next. Not bad at all. Oh. Nope. A little smoky. Yeah, just a little smoky. How long were we about in there? About 10 seconds? About 10 to 15 seconds. And just enough time to get out. Uh, eyes are not tearing. Uh, kind of smells like being outside in a barbecue. <laughs> Without the, uh, Without the uh, hot dog or hamburger smell. Yeah. We hope you found this training video on StatX First Responder 500 handheld fire suppression useful. Just a few additional points to mention. The residue is minimally water soluble and can be vented, vacuumed, blown, or washed away. It is environmentally friendly 
does not deplete the ozone or have a negative effect on global warming and is approved under the EPA's Significant New Alternative Policy, or SNAP, program. Shelf life is 10 years or more, and units come in a ready-to-use carrying case, meaning the Stat-X first responder can be on standby for both the fire suppression scenario and personal protection scenario. We hope you have found this training aid useful. Please read and review the Stat-X first responder owner's manual for additional information. Thanks for watching.